Fueled by DeathCast. Yeah, it's so important to reach out in moments like that. And almost always when people find success with with going clean like that, it's it's there's almost always somebody by their side to kind of help them through that. And it's just so important to reach out, I guess, when when you get into a spot like that. And and I think we saw a little bit of that um, in Velvet Revolver with with Scott. And he kind of seemed like. Duff really, really reached out and and was that guy for him, and it and it really seemed to work out eventually with Velvet Revolver. Can you talk a little bit about like I don't know? It seemed like there there was a lot of drama tied up with first off with this band, but it <laughs> looks like it kind of like became like this really awesome thing. What was it like to be a uh, part of that roller coaster? It, well, you know, I mean, fuck, it changed my life. Yeah, you know what I mean, like. Like I was, I mean, up until that point, you know, I'd played in Wasted Youth with Joey. That's how I got in Danzig. When I was in Danzig, you know, it was in the Love Hogs. But for me, at that at that point, it was always, you know, I was in a band. We got a record deal. We didn't, you know, we could kind of sustain. We'd go on a tour. We'd tour for, you know, nine months and then it would be done. Like whatever, the record would get dropped or, you know, this or that. And then I'd have to just work. You know, and I used to like build sets and stuff and basically but on set. And and then I another thing and then you know so until that point, you know, like I was playing with Duff. They started the band kind of with the two guys from Buck Cherry. That wasn't working out. Duff called me, he's like, dude, you should learn these songs. They had like eight songs mm-hmm. originals and they're should learn these dude because i think we're gonna you know split from the guitar player like next week i was like all right all right cool and mind you you know for me it was like it was easier i think than a lot of guys because i've known slash since i was 13 years old like we went to junior high school we went to high school together we knew each other we we had out you know we'd gone to parties together we had you know done stuff together Mm -hmm. uh you know duff i was playing in one of his bands at the time scott i'd known since 1989 because wow. our bands would play like that band i was in electric love hogs was playing little clubs with mighty joe young which became stone double pilots yeah so i i saw scott the day he got signed to atlantic and i remember him telling me like dude i just got a record deal and it's on atlantic records and it's like not a lot of money, but it's going to be fucking awesome. And but you're like, so like a kid, yeah. you know? And so I'd known Scott forever and we, you know, we'd been friends. So when I came into it, it was like, so Duff calls me the next, the next day after he'd give me the songs, like, dude, I just fired the guitar player. You got to come down tomorrow. I was like, what? Whoa. You know, like fuck dude. And this was my new, you know, we didn't, there was no singer at this point. And so I came down and, you know, I just, fuck, I don't know. I just did my thing and, and I never left. They never tried anyone else out. And then, you know, at that point, we we just started working. Like, we would literally rehearse five days a week writing songs and looking for singers. And we did that for 10 months before we found Scott. 